I just dropped by to say hello. Hope everyone's doing well. I love you all. Um, I wanted to tell you some good news. Neil Young is, is um, in Canada and he helps trying to stop the tar sands and the, you know, how we're destroying our earth and our drinking water. You have to give him, you know, we have to say something about that. We all should. I mean, he's getting old and he's up there protesting with First Nations and other people who don't want the water poisoned because it'll be poisoned forever. So I had to throw this in. The other reason I'm here is, um, wow, I thought 2014 was going to be the year we started finding solutions and all I've seen is fear. I, somebody, I, there's a lot of people I sub to and they're talking about the rapture. Personally, I don't even know what it is. I just think, I heard people are going to float up to the sky, dead people. Um, people that have been laying in their graves. I, I, your spirit leaves your body when you die. We're electricity. We're made out of water. We're electric. We're all kind of things. We flow. Um, really, I don't want to be stuck in a box waiting for something to happen. I'll be decayed and dirt and dust. So I, I don't understand that when I'm not putting you down for your beliefs at all. Um, I'm simply not watching your videos, though, because I don't understand it, and I don't want to try to understand that. Um, another one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to agree with the old man Marine on the NASA stuff I've never followed. NASA's never really got anything right. Um, they've got a few things right through the history I've seen with them, but not very much. And they do promote fear. They always have. Their little gimmicks you can play with promote a lot of fear. I mean, I, I even think they throw artifacts in there to make it look like... Um, a planet or something they've done this not just in the recent years they've done this for a long time um, so we need to find other ways than fear um, the media well I don't have a TV so I really don't know except what you guys put up but I do know that um, Kelly Thomas that's disturbing these cops were not even found guilty of um, Used an excessive force and they killed the young man. That tells you what state we're in. And that's because we sit back apathetic. Well, not all of us. There's a lot of us that get out there and we're active. A lot of us do things. A lot of us. I'll just say that. Do things and, and we don't. And there's a lot of us that don't talk about it on YouTube because it's really nobody's business what we do. But I, I would say maybe we need to start getting more active. And I am... I'm not saying join a click or doing Occupy or, you, or Anonymous. Just go out there and start voicing your opinion loud. Um, I mean, when you see something that you know morally is wrong, you're going to have to start stepping in. If you get hurt, what, if you die, then you die a hero for stepping in in a humanitarian unjust cause. Um, if you get injured and you're hurting, well, you're still, you did something morally right. And that, that's our goal here is humanity. Human, we, we are the human beings and we need to start being human and protect one another at all costs. I don't know what's up with the cops. I think the cops are using steroids. I, I personally think since taxes go for hiring cops um, that we should drug test them. Don't they drug test bus drivers? And uh, hell, most of the people I know get drug tested on their job, random drug tests. But I think we need to start you know, testing them for steroids. A lot of the cops I've seen, state patrol especially, have them big old necks or like they've been working out. Where do they find this time? I think they're on steroids or something else. Time to start testing them for drugs. I think there also ought to be a citizen's tribunal since it's our money. Uh, and the just us a system doesn't work because it's justice for them, not for us. We're the slaves that pays the wages. So I think that we should start setting up citizen tribunals in local areas and we'd have to find very honorable folks I mean people that are out of the paradigm of the, you know the flavor of the week people who could sit back not use emotion or well everybody has emotion and we have to go through the motion and then you have to balance it and reason things out and and a reasonable person an emotional person after seeing what happened to Kelly Thomas the young man that was killed by the police in California your first emotion is, wow. But even a reasonable person would have to say, wow. 
And so the judges, this, this, even the judge had to be bought. And it's time to get rid of the people in the system, and that includes state-sponsored media. They put subliminal messages in there. So does Alex Jones. We um, thank you, Can of Worms, because I just wanted to see if people could see what I was seeing on that one where I told everybody to go look. But Can of Worms, thank you for showing people, because that needed to be shown. Um, I just wanted, it was an experiment for myself if people saw what I was seeing. And you just showed it, and thank you so much for doing that. Um, but it is time. If, if somebody's leaving subliminal messages, we shouldn't be watching it. Um, if people don't want to show their face, but they, you know, put something up in front of your face and, and let us hear you, not a robot voice or something else talk. It, it, you know, I know there's some people, I actually had to ban that person who's some kind of woman pastor, but um, I heard she had some kind of disease or something and she doesn't, people want her to see her sick. Well, if that's how you, you know, look, this is me. I don't wear makeup. I'm, I, look, the human race, we're human beings. I don't think, I think makeup is a mask. I used to wear makeup. I think it's a mask. As I got older, I've realized a lot of things. You know, I'm putting toxic arsenic crap on my face. I'm not doing that. Um, it doesn't matter what you look like because we're not looking at your outward appearance. We're looking at what comes from the heart. So I'm... Oh, man, Maureen said something about this. If you can't show your face, who are you? And, and I'm going to say this. Um, if you can't show your face because you don't want to or you don't have a camera, can we at least hear your voice? Um, most of the people I sub to, because I've been subbed from a lot of people lately, if they're pushing fear around every corner, you're gone. I've actually got banned from a lot of channels, which is fine, because I asked them not... I, I, I actually watched a video and sat and thought about it and thought about it and um, and then I, I've had to say why, why are you pushing this because all your videos you may have one good one out of 20 but most of them push fear and saying this is going to happen this is going to happen they never happen after you know three strikes you're out you, you're miss your disinfo we've got to start finding solutions and, and everybody needs to start coming across with the truth um, I'm just venting right now I'm, I'm just wanted to say peace love and let's find solutions um the true ray uh, she's always positive there's so many others out there that are so positive and we need to all stay focused on that um we're gonna have to dj uh dj moore he's a very positive person and and we were all in a chat the other day we were talking about you know it should hit the fan there's things in your own yard you can eat we need to all start focusing on things like that because if shit hits the fan, maybe we can make it be a shit not hitting the fan if you just knew what was around you. Um, I mean, there's food everywhere unless you live in the concrete jungle. And in that case, I'd say prepare somewhat, you know, and don't let people know what you have to try to get out of that concrete jungle. And, and hopefully most of humanity would be welcoming people. And, and everybody pitch in and do their part and we could survive without the government. Because the government now, if you, if you think you're free, then you need to move on from my channel because we are all slaves at this point. Everything I have purchased or I buy has a damn tax on it. I mean, everything is taxed. And I am so, and then you have to pay taxes. After your tax for everything you purchase, I'm about sick of it myself. Um, and I say, no one pay taxes. I actually say it at the store. Um, now, how do I get tax exempt on the gas when we buy gasoline? I, I want to know. I, there's got to be a way we get tax exempt. Stop feeding the beast. We have to turn our power away. That's all I wanted to say. Love you guys. I hope everyone's doing well. I know it's warming up across the United States. We did not get the weather most of you guys got. And I'm glad that, that everybody I know on YouTube it made it safely through the storm. But I do love you guys. Peace, love, truth, and I'm out of here.